Welcome back. Well, the British Army making a hard pitch to millennials with a new ad campaign, including posters like these targeting me, me, me millennials, binge gamers, phone zombies, and snowflakes. Their message, your army needs you. Meanwhile, here in the U.S., the New York Times publishing this headline, the army in need of recruits turns focus to liberal-leaning cities. So we asked the question, is it hard to get the modern millennial to fight for their country? Joining us to respond, retired U.S. Marine Corps bomb technician Joey Jones. Joey, thanks for being here this morning. We'll get to these posters, which are patently <laughs> interesting slash absurd. But the deeper issue is, is patriotism being infused into the younger generation so that they have the spirit to want to put on the camouflage of their country? No, no, the answer is no. I mean, think about it, Pete. We enlisted because we sat in high school or, uh, or just before and watched two towers fall, and we answered a call to our country to go out and defend it. Now we're on our third president that's done a terrible job of inspiring us on the war overseas. We have a lack of a definition of what we're fighting for or where we're fighting or who we're fighting or for how long. And our military and, by and large, our, our leaders have done a terrible job um, telling us and explaining to us why we're at war and why we should enlist and why we should feel pride and go out and fight for this country. You know, we have multiple, multiple special operators on trial right now today for doing what they believed was what they were being asked to do to go out and fight and kill terrorists. Um, we have a VA that's, that's completely uh, inept. The military makes promises like college. It's up to the VA to fulfill that promise. Sure. Millennials have access to information, and they see that when the government promises you things to come in and fight for it, it rarely fulfills those promises. Joey, I mean, we, this, this, this British ad campaign, which we saw the posters, it's phone zombies and snowflakes and binge gamers. They say, we want me, me, me millennials. They're seeking them out for their self belief. Now, last time I checked, uh, service is about self-sacrifice, serving something greater than yourself. How does the, the, the self-esteem and self-belief translate into modern service? Well, we have a generation of Americans that believe they're entitled to go to college, that believe they're entitled to some sort of income equality, that believe they're entitled to a management position. So how do you take those people that believe they're self-important and put them into a place where the first thing they do for three months is get told how unimportant they are <laughs> and yes. humbled and rebuild into something that's worthwhile and, uh, and a part of a team? So I understand the challenge. I understand why you might want to appeal to that. Hopefully they're training them otherwise once they get them in. Well, once but you have to look at this. You have to get them ahead. in to train them once they get in. That's the problem. Well, that's Hence right. why they're going to these absurd lengths. Joey Jones, thanks for your time. You know, Appreciate it. we got to leave it right there.